Hey everyone, it's 5.44 p.m. on Wednesday, October 20th, 2021. And right here is a white and polished brass 52-inch Palm Air Hugger Deluxe ceiling fan. I want to say it was manufactured circa 1985. They didn't put a date on it. And um, it's not your uh, typical hugger ceiling fan where the shell mounts directly to the ceiling. It has a wide-brimmed canopy screwed on with a hex nut to a otherwise generic GE vent fan in the 1980s. There is the canopy. It's uh, secured by three lug nuts, three hex nuts. Four degree side band. Brass G event face plate right there. And it's got cane blades. Both sides plain. Another unique thing about this fan, it has a uh, Casablanca type switch housing. If you see right there above the light there, there's one, there's a screw on the left that bolts to the bottom rather than the side, which their successors in most newer ceiling fans and non castle blankets have it the switch housing switch cap mounts to the side of the housing rather than the bottom like this one Let's see, i don't know if you can see it over there where the there's the other screw right there it has a ventless motor There's a reverse switch right there, and uh, I left it as is because <clears throat> it's almost impossible to screw a four-inch uh, light fitter on that kind of housing. This castle blanket's wider, but still, I mean, it can be done, but on this kind, it takes a great deal of effort to do so, and I didn't add, I didn't I didn't get creative with the pull chains this time because I figured I wouldn't have this up here very long. But anyway, I got this off Facebook Marketplace a little under a year ago. It's around like the holiday season 2020. It was after, I think it was after Thanksgiving before Christmas, but hence the holiday season. I got it along with excuse me, yet another Palm Air, but that one was a Pacific Breeze, another one of my favorite childhood fans. And uh, yes, it was an antique brass. It's like the most common finish of a Pacific Breeze. For those who don't know what that is, um, it's the top mount ceiling fan with the stationary switch housing, very similar to a Moss WF series. But enough about that. Let's just shed a little light on the situation, shall we? And the Globe... So the mounting hardware and the globe were used from the Palmer Oak Hugger, which used to hug here, hang here, excuse me. Um, they didn't know it didn't come from the same hall, but you'd think that it would, given the fact that it had the four inch uh, fitter on it. There. Okay, that being said, let's. Rev it up first on low. It has a little bit of a hum to it. Yeah, most of these palm air is really in air cools. Um, by the way, palm air, air cool is the OEM for uh, palm air, and they were sold pr primarily at 84 lumber. Forgot to throw that tidbit in. Might be in need of a new capacitor. I'm just testing it here. Medium.
I mean, the, the medium on this fan is on par with the high of most silly fan manufactured within the past two decades. I'm feeling good. Good air flowing onto a stone medium. Almost cranks out as much air as, as did the Hunter Originals that I had hung here. But let's bump it up to high, shall we? Oh yeah. This thing is a tornado on high, most of these palm airs are. A little sh I mean, it's a little on the shaky side, but I guess it's doing okay. I don't know what that noise is. I don't know if you can hear it or not. But the, uh, I don't know if the air will drown that out. What that ticking sound is. The buzzing sound. Okay, time to power down. The bearings, however, are good on this fan. Really good, it has some really good bearings. I do have another one like this, which ironically, I have two others like this. One is a five light kit, and the other, the other one ha is just like this one, like a twin to it. So. These are, like I said, these are major childhood fans for me because I'd see them at the store called uh, Stambaugh's. Because a lot of the uh, a lot of Stambaugh's ceiling fan stock was manufactured by Aircool. And they pretty much were the poor man's Casablanca. This thing almost cranks out as much air as a uh, Casablanca. Okay, folks, fan has ceased operation. This concludes our broadcast day. Thank you for watching. More to come.